More listing news for Casper. That's right, folks. Kraken, one of the OG Tier 1 exchanges in the game, has added Casper to their upcoming listings page. And that's following more news a couple of weeks ago that Binance have added a Casper mining pool to their Binance pool platform. Now that's good for several reasons. One, because it shows us that Casper is on their radar and they're paying attention to it. And two, it offers Binance the chance to accumulate some Casper tokens which could be used as liquidity for a potential future listing. Because as I've talked about before, Casper was a fair launched coin, which means there was no token allocation at launch. Normally when coins launch, they'll have a certain amount of the token supply allocated specifically for exchange listings. But that's not the case with Casper. So that means if exchanges want to list Casper, then they need to accumulate tokens in order to have as liquidity. Now the only way they can do that is either buying tokens off the open market or through something like a mining pool where they can collect fees. Either way, it's definitely a positive step towards a potential listing. As to when that could be, without much more information, it's still anyone's guess. You could speculate that they might want to take advantage of this bull run and the next altcoin rally, which would mean listing it sooner rather than later, but it all depends on how much liquidity they can or have already accumulated. There has been some speculation in the past that Binance and some other tier 1 exchanges may have already been buying Casper off the open market, but there's no way we can really know for sure without them coming out and saying it, which they would obviously never do. One thing to keep in mind, like I mentioned before, exchanges make all their money from fees, so the biggest incentive for an exchange to list any coin is trading volume. They will list just about anything with a high enough trading volume. Now, Casper's trading volume hasn't always been that high compared to other coins with similar market caps. And I think part of the reason for that is that not that many people actively trade Casper. It's more something that people buy and hold on to for the long term. I mean, if you look at the chart, it's almost unheard of. It's probably one of the most attractive looking charts in crypto right now. And it's been following this fairly predictable wave pattern which I've been talking about forever now. But at some point that pattern will break. Once a pattern becomes too predictable and enough people see it, it will inevitably change because everyone's trying to do the same thing. Now, we might see a bit more volatility if that pattern is lost, but what that will also bring us is higher trading volume, which may actually help in terms of exchange listings. Then it can snowball from there, because the more listings we have, the more accessible Casper becomes, which leads to higher trading volume, which leads to more listings, and so on. It's really not a case of if we get these listings, it's more when. If Casper does continue this steady growth like it has all the way since launch, then the big exchanges can't really ignore it much longer, because if they do, then they'll be losing out to the competition. Often when a coin starts getting noticed by one or two bigger exchanges, it can start a bit of a domino effect, because if one of them comes in, they'll naturally take a big chunk of the trading volume straight away. So if the other big players don't list it, they're just missing out on big business. Because in crypto, people don't tend to have that much loyalty to specific exchanges, with the exception of maybe some of the more trusted tier 1s like Binance and Coinbase. They'll just trade at whatever the most convenient place that their favourite coins are listed with the lowest fees. Now, I just want to clear one thing up as well. Will this Kraken listing bring a huge pump for Casper? And the realistic answer is no. Probably not. Exchange listings don't tend to have that much direct impact on the price of a coin, and any moves that they do bring will usually be priced into the market before the listing itself actually takes place. However, what it should bring is more volume to Casper, which is always a good thing. I don't want to really go into price action too much on this video. Everything I've covered in detail in my previous videos is still valid. Nothing has really changed dramatically on the charts lately. The market has been in a fairly boring accumulation zone over the past Last while. We've been holding on to key levels on Casper, still generally outperforming the rest of the market as we often do. In the short to midterm, I do still have my first targets at 25 cents, expecting resistance at 20 cents. But I'll go into further price analysis again when something more interesting happens on the charts. If you did miss my previous videos where I talked about the Casper wave theory, which is the predictable pattern which I talked about earlier, then you can go ahead and check out this video, or check out this one that YouTube recommends. I've been me, you've been you, thanks for watching, and see you later.